Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome back to our Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader Let's Play, where we're just about to engage with a Trader Marine as we travel from one system to another. Before we get into that though, I just want to very quickly upgrade our party members so that we don't end up with another stockpile of skill points to spend eventually. And we'll start with of course the Rogue Trader himself, our strategist, who has the option to choose a skill to upgrade, but unfortunately, all the choices he has are completely useless. His Demolition, his Logic, his Lord Xenos, and his Tech Use are all at 30, which means somebody else in the party is always filling in that role, and the Rogue Trader himself never actually has to use any of those skills. But hey, that's just how the system is. That's perfectly fine and reasonable. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade his Logic because, let's say, you know, he's at the head of an empire, so it makes sense for him to, uh, be at least somewhat logical in his decision making, right? So let's go with logic and accept that. And let's go ahead and move on to Heinrichs, who as our Vanguard will also have the option to upgrade one of his skills. Now here, at least we have an option that, you know, stands out above the rest. We'll go ahead and bump up his athletics, taking it up to 80, I believe. And uh, he's already the one who rolls all the athletics checks for the parties. And this will now make it a lot uh, more likely to succeed when that comes up. So let's go ahead and accept that. Take it up to 80. There you go. Moving on now to Abelard. As our veteran, he will be able to choose a talent and a characteristic. So as far as characteristics are concerned, it's kind of tempting to start boosting his ballistic skill up a little bit because he has been relying on that Melta Ultima. But truth be told, because of the, uh, the area of effect on the Melta Ultima, I, we, we're not... I don't think we've ever really missed sometimes the enemy dodges but that's not missing that's a that's different right and when they dodge uh they they move out of the the area of effect but all that to say this we don't really need a boosted ballistic skill as tempting as it feels at times instead let's keep increasing the strength over here uh, because that will allow us to cause more damage i do believe damage output is strength based when it comes to melee weapons so let's go ahead and bump up his strength because either way that takes his strength bonus from five up to six which is a nice kind of you know line or threshold to cross with your uh, characteristics whenever you can so yeah let's go ahead and get that up to a uh, strength bonus of six get the stat itself up to 60 but yes of course i can't hit accept because i also have to choose a talent now here i'm going to go ahead and pick swift movements this will increase the movement points of the character by two that will allow us to get into melee much more quickly it'll also allow us to reposition ourselves for that melta ultima uh to to get like the optimal angle when we find ourselves out of position, right? A lot of these other options you've already seen highlighted multiple times, so I'm not going to go over all of them. And instead, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick swift movements because I do think that makes the most sense here. So let's accept that selection. Let's accept these upgrades. Yep, there you go, up to 60. And we now have uh, swift movements as well. Over to Argenta, our veteran, who has the choice to pick a characteristic and a talent as well. So as far as her characteristics are concerned, why don't we go ahead and, uh, hmm, now none of these are like her important ones, right? Why don't we go ahead and improve her toughness so that when she has to do a check against, you know, toxins or something like that, those again are individual checks, right? The game calls them fortitude checks in the log right now, but they're actually toughness checks. Let's go ahead and bump up her toughness because, right, that's one thing that everybody does sometimes individually have to roll as opposed to a party roll, so that'll be helpful either way. Uh, separately let's head into our talent choice over here and i think I, i'm again I'm, I'm i'm kind of not so sure about the choice here with argenta swift movements i don't think is as necessary with argenta because ideally she finds a spot she stays there she gets all those like overwhelming stratagem and uh, grand strategist on her allowing her to pop shots from that location without needing to move so rather than swift movements i'm thinking over here we go with nimble that gives her a plus 10 bonus to dodge tests, so she'll be more likely to survive when, you know, we're going from, well, when she gets shot at, or when she gets swung at, I guess, right? And and we have seen her drop a couple of times, so it might be nice for her to be able to dodge a bit more consistently. So let's go ahead and get nimble over here, accept that selection and accept these upgrades, so that should hopefully be uh, quite helpful moving forward. And if we take a look at Cassia, she is, of course, another strategist, which means she will also be able to pick from her skills. Now, here we have Persuasion available as well. We got Tech Use, we got Lord Xenos. Hmm. What's your Tech Use, Pascal? Like 100 or something, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's like over 100, I think, with uh, everything he's carrying. 
Persuasion, I do believe the Rogue Trader has his at 95. So again, Cassia kind of has somebody else doing all the things that we could upgrade over here. Why don't we go ahead and buff up her... Uh, buff up her logic as well? Sure. Is you know, navigate... Listen. Listen. We're going to bump up her logic because... Because... Over to Pascal. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we can do with you, buddy. You've got an ability we can pick. Okay, so here, again, previously we chose In My Sights, which, again, I haven't pulled off. The fact of the matter is that whenever we study or whenever we mark a target, it doesn't, like, ever come to fruition. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. We'll mark a target, and before Pascal's next turn, he'll either not be able to reach that target, or that target will already be dead. But I believe all of these relate to having a marked target. Um, double tap is the only one that doesn't, I think, where you can take two single shots against the same target with the current weapon, but both of those attacks suffer a negative 20 penalty to hit chances. I do believe that's for uh, ranged weapons only, and I mean, his ballistic skill is already not that great, so double tap doesn't sound like a good idea to me. Total focus means the assassin focuses all their attention on one marked target, gaining 10 plus 2 times assassin's perception bonus to righteous fury chance, and 10 plus 2 times assassin's agility bonus to dodge chance against it for the assassin's intelligence bonus number of turns. So that is 5 turns of a decently increased dodge chance and a decently increased righteous fury chance as well right based on perception like that's not bad slow extermination says that the extermination mark effect is postponed by an extra turn and after that though the mark deals 25 times the assassin's perception bonus percentage of bonus damage instead of the usual 10. now our extermination mark is typically already you know postponed in its use so that's not too bad. That actually kind of lines up with how things have been playing out for us. Then there's no escape. The assassin moves to the marked target within the assassin's movement points plus agility bonus divided by two range. If an assassin has charge ability, this move ignores all attacks of opportunity. So no escape is like a way to close the gap. I, 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 like While that would be nice because Pascal does have a very nice melee weapon, I just don't see the rush, really. We, we have... Our Heinrichs and our Abelards able to charge in already. I kind of like that Pascal is kind of in between melee and range commitment, you know? Uh, and then we have Penetrating Strike. A weakened enemy is the perfect target. This melee attack is even deadlier against, I assume that says marked, stunned, prone, or blinded targets. It gains plus Assassin's Perception bonus percentage to armor penetration and applies Bleeding Effect on the target for three turns. That armor pen isn't all that, like, wild. The bleeding for three turns is helpful, but all this stuff, honestly, I I just, I don't know if any of these are really useful. I'm going to go with slow extermination because that tends to, like, happen anyway, but I also need to try and use the extermination mark more often. You know, it is a very helpful uh, skill or ability, whatever you want to call it, and I just never really get to use it properly because we're just so quick to eliminate marked targets using our other characters. Anyway, I'm going to go with slow extermination over here in the hopes of actually being able to use that. And with all that said and done, we are done with character progression and we can dive in to this battle. Now, again, I'm assuming the Traitor Marine is up over here with a blood letter and there's a couple of blood letters down over here and down over here, right? Just based on the previous time we were on this map with a similar uh, mission. Uh, so I'm curious how this is actually going to play out. And us. With those assumptions, I'm going to make some moves, knowing as well, by the way, that these purple circles cause damage as you walk through them. So let's get Cassia up to there, see what we can see with her, not much. Let's get the uh, rogue trader coming up to here as well, let's go. See what we can see with him, another purple circle up over there. Let's get Pascal creeping on up to uh, Argenta, let's move you up, let's get Heinrichs kind of up there. And let's get Abelard kind of up here. Again, the uh, the blood letters, if we are up against the same enemies as last time, the blood letters only engage in melee, right? So if we can keep our distance from them, as they're closing the gap, I can pop shots and try and finish them off. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the traitor marine, though, would love a clump like this to target. So we want to be careful about that. Ooh, you know what? It's a little different. Oh, this is funny. Are you going to keep taking damage if we just let... Uh, 
Okay, this is a little silly. Do I just stand here and watch this go down? I mean, truth be told, as I place people, it's probably going to end up going down anyway. Um, Argenta up over here because I want to make sure she's able to fire. Uh, trying to figure out. I, I want these guys to be a little spaced out because otherwise when the Chaos Space Marine fires in this clump, we're all screwed, right? Um, Heinrichs, what to do with you? I guess I could get Heinrichs up to there. This Bloodletter is going to die, yeah. No surprise there, that's hilarious. But let's get Heinrichs up there. And maybe Avalard can come up here as well. Just a little nervous because of firing angles, right? So there's Heinrichs. There's another Bloodletter up over here. Okay, so the layout is different. Even if we're up against the same enemies, the layout is different. Let's get Avalard up to there so these guys are close. You know what, actually, Avalard should be up front. And Heinrichs should be at the back, because Heinrichs can move a lot faster, if I recall correctly. What is going on? Argenta. Hop you up to there. Let's get the Rogue Trader up to here. And let's creeping forward. Let's keep creeping forward with Argenta, I think. Ooh. No Trader Marine. Okay, you know what? I like it. I like not knowing what's up. Alright. Alright, okay. Heinrichs, let's get you up to here. I wonder if I should pull the trigger now. Just get Argenta to burst fire on that bloodletter, and we'll see where the uh, the rest of the enemy troops are. They're all hiding down there, I assume. There's not much room up over here for them. So this is... Okay, this is interesting. Uh, Argenta? Are we ready to burst fire? Let's actually get Pascal... Hmm, let's get Cassia in the middle over here, because I don't want to get her stuck in melee, right? If the bloodletters are coming up this way and coming up that way to hit us uh, on this little, I don't know, catwalk or whatever you want to call it, then I want to make sure that the outer edges have uh, melee specialists as best as possible. Argenta will have to fall back because she's, you know, taking point here to open fire, but then it's Heinrichs and Abelard who can, you know, actually probably come up over here, and over here we have Pascal, and I would put the Rogue Trader here, but uh, I want the Rogue Trader close enough to hit Argenta would bring it down, obviously, or, you know, Abelard or, or Heinrichs or whoever, but probably Argenta for starters at least. I think this is okay. Let's go ahead and use Argenta now to burst fire and hit that bloodletter. Is that the right call? That's That doesn't look like a lot of damage, does it? That doesn't look like a lot of damage. A frag grenade will... I mean, I can't tell how much a frag grenade will do, can I? What about a crack grenade? Same thing, I assume. Yeah, you can't actually tell how much damage a grenade is going to do. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and switch you over to your uh, usual combination there. And uh, Rogue Trader, if you go in with the overcharge shot... Really, no line of sight? No way you don't have line of sight. I refuse to believe there's no line of sight there. I guess not. But you know what? That does a lot more damage. That does a lot more damage. I'm guessing Argenta's bolts are being counted individually. Alright, you know what? I'm going to trust what I see with my eyes here. And I'm going to pop this shot with the, uh, the Rogue Trader's Plasma Overcharge. Let's we'll start the fighting. Let's go. Come on, baby. Decent hit. Decent hit. We do have a Trader Marine, as predicted, and a couple of blood letters down over here. Now, where is that Trader Marine, though? Hang on a second. So we got Pascal up next, then this blood letter, then Cassia, then we got this blood letter, then this blood letter. Argenta, Abelard, Rogue Trader, Heinrichs. Where is that Chaos Marine? All the way down over here. Gonna make his way up, and uh, gonna fire away with that massive piece of equipment. Hmm, okay. Just a little worried that we maybe have set ourselves up for failure by being too far back. Because what if he keeps his distance and we're not able to pop shots at him, right? Now, we are spread out, except for this clump over here, so I'm, I'm hoping for the best, but uh, it's a little nerve-wracking. All right, let's get uh, Machine Spirit Communication down first on everybody, please, if possible. Yeah, looks like it. Let's go ahead and pop that over here. And let's go ahead and use the Plasma Overcharge on this Bloodletter. 40% chance to hit, come on. Uh, what about the Slow Extermination? What if I get you... On you. Can't see him. Fair enough. On you instead, then. Can't do that either. What's the deal here? Assassin postpones the extermination mark. Oh! Do I have to put a mark on the target and then postpone it? That might be what it is, because I know we have line of sight on this guy, because we can shoot him. So if I go for the extermination mark, we'll have two action points left over, but I'm going to use those two action points to uh, get a plasma overcharge shot on, uh, on this bloodletter. Because he still has his turn this round. So, fine. Extermination mark on you. And we'll try and use that next turn. And let's use our plasma overcharge on this blood leopard. Let's go. 40% chance to hit. It's not amazing, but let's try it. 
God damn it. Oh, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Uh, and Pascal's turn. This bloodletter is going to move up, and then it's Cassia, right? And Cassia, what can you do? You can go ahead and use Bring It Down on Avalard, perhaps? Do we have range? I don't know. Damn. I don't know. Okay, here's what we'll do. First of all, Overwhelming Stratagem. Hit at least three people. That will bring the action point back, right? There we go. Good stuff. Uh, that means we're able to burst fire with Cassia as well. I don't want to send her too far up, though, is the thing. Argent is going to move soon anyway. Hmm. Okay. Bring it down. Argent is too far away. God damn. All right. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Gonna have to take a chance here. Move Cassia up to there. Uh, if I burst fire from there, we might hit Heinrichs. I don't love that. 18%. Don't love that. Not the worst. It also doesn't do that much damage to the Bloodletter itself. What if we fire down over here? Can't hit him. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Crack grenade. Can't reach. Okay. Also fair enough. Um, hmm. I'm thinking bring it down on Argenta, and, but the question is then what? That's the thing. The question is then what? God knows we have the, uh, the action points to do stuff. Other option is to get Cassia all the way up to here, but this blood letter goes next, and it's going to close the gap to Cassia, I'm fairly sure, and then she'll be stuck in melee, and we'll have to try and dodge that situation uh, and, and eat an attack of opportunity. But geez, you know what? The other options don't seem all that great either. All right, let's, uh, let's creep you up to here. No, let's creep you up to here. Yet bring it down on Argenta and hope for the best here. As we turn around for a burst fire up here. No friendly fire. Yep, let's go ahead and shoot. Six shots, go for it. Um, excuse me. <laughs> the hell is that nonsense? Let's close the gap a little bit. But you know what? That actually works out for us. Now, we we triggered his uh, his reaction because of uh, the amount of damage we did. But yes, this does actually work out for us because now I can end the turn there and Cassia can actually toss a grenade to maybe finish him off. Yes, which means I would very much like to... Can I fall back? Do I have reach? I don't. So let's go ahead and rush up. Because again, I'm trying to get rid of this massive clump that the uh, Chaos Marine is going to target, right? So let's move up and let's toss our Crack Grenade right on top of the Blood Letter to finish him off. Let's go for it, Cassia. Let's go. This has worked out very nicely. Down you go. Beautiful. What next? What next? I suppose I could use move, move, move to get somebody into a better position to, to, to fire on their turn. Oh, you know what? Argenta. Let's get you. Hmm. I don't think that has any value. Yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and get... Uh, let's go ahead and get Abelard to move. And let's pull him up this way, I think. Sure. Just so he's ready to, like, kind of guard this angle. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. And we'll see if anybody comes up this way. He might be able to hit them when his turn comes up. And that turn, Cassia, and your turn. Bloodletter is going to roll up, and then it's all us, right? So, Argenta should be able to come up to here and fire down this way with her burst fire. Not too bad, but of course the first order of business is to use shot on the run, get up to here, pop a shot on Buddy here, 20% chance to hit. It's not amazing, but it's something. Sure. Come on. Missed both of them, eh? It is what it is. In comes the burst fire. 66 and 0. Go for it. Come on. Very nice. Oh, almost got rid of him. And you know what? Yes! He's going to walk through the circle and he's going to die. That worked out amazingly. Excellent. Excellent. All right, good stuff. Argenta, that's your turn done. And now what about everybody else? <laughs> We're just in such a advantageous position. Here, Avalor, let's pull you up to here. So you're kind of in, like, a decent bit of cover. And next turn, perhaps, we can fire. I just don't know. There's not... Hmm. How much I can do is there? I come up there. Melta Ultima won't reach down here. I mean, I guess I could instead come all the way to here. Switch my plan completely. Come all the way to here just so I can hit this guy. I can't hit this guy. Dang. What about up to here? Who would have known? Okay. Well, this works out, at least. I should have used the move, move, move to get Avalar down this way. But, hey... You live and you learn. Let's go ahead and fire at uh, this blood letter over here, and then Pascal will follow up and hopefully finish this guy off, right? Because he's got uh, he's been marked. 
In goes Abelord. Fire away. Wow, that did nothing. <laughs> Yikes. Pop Endure. And uh, we'll end the turn there, I think, right? Yeah, not much else we can do. Not much else that needs doing. The Rogue Trader is able to do what? Huh, Argento. And fire down there. But with little, little luck, Abelard might be able to get some work done on the Blood Letter still. Um, sure, so if I use Bring It Down on Abelard, I wonder if I could use Kill Zone Stratagem over here first. One action point, we'll have four left over, two to get Abelard to, uh, to, to fire, and then what? And then what? What does Grand Strategist do for uh, Kill Zone Stratagem? Applies weak point on a random side. Alright, that's not bad. Sure, Kill Zone Stratagem. This makes sense because they're all going to come up, right? Okay, let's pop Kill Zone Stratagem up over here in the hopes of them ending up up over here, right? Fingers crossed my prediction there is, is somewhat accurate. But apart from that, bring it down. We'll not reach Avalard from there, so let's go ahead and step up to. Here, I like the full cover there, so taking a bit of a chance, I suppose, but needs doing. Pop this on Abelard. We might fall back behind that afterwards. Abelard, melt to Ultima. How, how can you not have... How does that make any sense? Well, no choice. Let's just do it. Okay, yeah, we did damage. Weird that it wasn't highlighting properly. Anyway, Abelard, it's your turn. Rogue Trader, let's get you back behind this cover. Heinrichs is going to move, so Argenta and uh, the Rogue Trader will present a bit of a target here, unfortunately, but what are you going to do? I could use move, move, move on Heinrichs to get him into a better position before it's actually his turn. Hmm. Or I could use it on Abelard to get him into a better position before it's his turn. Because this is a juicy target for that uh, Space Marine. Alright, you know what, here. Move, move, move on Abelard. Avalord, let's get you... There's no cover, right? Eh? Let's just get you rolling out to here. End that turn. Rogue Trader, let's get you into full cover. Still a juicy target for uh, for the enemy, but but it's not bad. And and can I really not shoot at anything from where I'm going to stand? Yeah, everything's out of range. Wild, okay. Weird. Unless I want to come up to this full cover, and from there I can fire at this guy, right? Yeah, sure, let's do that. It's, it's from one full cover to another, so let's go for it. Poor Pascal. Badly exposed. All for us to miss a shot. And the Rogue Trader's turn. Heinrichs, you're up. I guess we can get you up to there. Right? That way Avalard's on this side. Heinrichs is on that side. Sure. Sure. What do we do with the action points? I have no idea. I have, like, no use right now. Because we're so far away from everything. I guess I could try and assail the Chaos Marine. Sure, let's try it. Assail, Chaos Marine. Come on, buddy. Drop for me. Did I get him? I don't think I did. <laughs> no surprise there. Alright. Creep on up to there. Do I want to charge and, like, hide in the corner over here or something? Maybe not a terrible idea. Just to, just to tuck in there, basically, so he can't... Uh, no one can hit us too easily. And I guess we'll end your turn there. Sure. Let's see what the uh, enemy does. Chaos Marine's gonna roll up. And he's going to fire from down there, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, or he's not. Okay. Strange. Bloodletter is going to take some damage. Pascal is up. Can we finish this Bloodletter off? Let's go ahead with our Plasma Single Shot. Looks pretty good for a Plasma Single Shot. Right? Because again, what, is, what does Extermination Mark do? Whenever the Assassin attacks the Mark target, they trigger the Mark for 10 times Assassin's Perception Bonus Percentage Bonus Damage. Then the Mark disappears, so we have to refresh it. But, uh, that's not bad. And if we get a Righteous Fury on that, we might actually eliminate him. What else am I doing? What else could I be doing? Nothing else much of value. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and pop this shot. Hope for the best. Are you for real gonna miss right now? Are you- are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? Okay, well, what about- what about this ability? The Assassin immediately attacks all marked targets within the attack range with a double chance of Righteous Fury. Again, I just don't know what that means. I, I don't confidently know what that means. Hmm. You know what, let's go ahead and just mark another target. Mark the Chaos Marine. And should I hit you with the Slow Extermination? No, I can't. Why? Why? 
within 15 cells range. Oh, it's a much shorter range than just simply marking a target medium range. Okay, fair enough. Okay, lesson learned. Not a problem. I think we're okay to call it a turn here. Um, target the weakness, sure. I don't know if that's going to do anything. And Pascal's turn. Cassia is up. I suppose what I could do is bring Cassia up to here. Use bring it down on Argenta. Or you know what, Cassia, let's go ahead and burst fire at this blood letter. See what that does. And then we'll get Argenta to uh, use bring it down either on this blood letter or if she can hit the uh, Chaos Space Marine. That works for me too. Let's try it. Fire away. Not bad. At, not bad at all, actually. I was not expecting that much damage output. I'll take it gladly. Uh, bring it down on Argenta. Now, Argenta will not be able to, unless she uses controlled burst, she won't be able to hit over here. But that blood letter is already basically dead. So let's go ahead and turn our attention to this blood letter instead with a burst fire. Hopefully knock him back and cause some damage. Our usual. Good stuff. Got the Righteous Fury there. Oh, damn. Okay, this is extremely frustrating. When the blue... Maybe I missed it disappearing. But if I recall correctly, when it was when, when I gave Cassia the order, the blue grid was there, right? But obviously it's Cassia's turn, and Cassia is the one who put that down, so it's gone now. And it hadn't disappeared until I either switched to Argenta or until Argenta shot with only a handful of bolts. It's fine, but I, that stuff needs to disappear, you know on time, <laughs> I use that to guide my decision making. It's not the end of the world. Argenta, your turn is done. We're not going to pop military excellence at this point in time, but let's go ahead with overwhelming strategy, at least in the area, I think, because uh, we may as well. No one else is going to really make use of that, so sure. And if we had overwhelming strategy on Cassia, we might have actually eliminated the, uh, the, the blood letter. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Not too fussed about it. It is what it is. Pop that there. It's overwhelming stratagem, and that's the turn done as well. But that is going to roll up. Going to eat some damage there. Could have killed it if uh, if it was done right. But hey, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and burst fire at the blood letter. Can I hit this cast marine? I can't. He's got to come closer. He better not have line of sight on us if we don't have line of sight on him. All right, start with shot on the run. Yep. Go ahead and pop our single shot first. Forty percent chance to hit. Gonna miss. Good stuff. Go ahead with the burst fire. Fire away. Come on. Beautiful. That worked out perfectly. I was really hoping we trigger his uh, his movement there because he took damage in this circle and in this circle. And on top of all that, we also uh, got, I think, two Righteous Furies on him. All right, good stuff. Argenta cannot do anything else. If I pop Military Excellence, I could shoot at this Blood Letter, but the rest of those rounds would be completely wasted. So let's end her turn there. Abelard, Melta Ultima. Or, you know what, let's go ahead and uh, switch to our melee and charge in. I can't charge him too close. Am I now? Okay, fair enough. If I pull back and then charge in, that'll work for me. I will do my duty. In we go. Good stuff. That allows us to still shoot. Not that we can see anything, unfortunately. So I suppose we stay put then and end our turn there. Or I could use Ready Go. The veteran gains plus 20% bonus to the effectiveness of their cover at the end of the turn. Not that he's in cover. Next turn, the veteran gains plus one AP and one free attack. That's not bad. So sure, you know what? Ready Go. I rarely get to actually use that. So why don't we use it now? Rogue Trader, meanwhile, what do we do with you? What do we do with you? Can't attempt it to stay put. We could use Kill Zone Stratagem. Now, that Blood Letter was in our Kill Zone, wasn't he? I'm pretty sure he was. Where is this Chaos Marine going to go? Let's go ahead and pop this... Like, up over here, maybe, again? Sure. Maybe I'm taking too much of a defensive position over here. But I, I see no reason not to simply end our turn here. There's nothing else we can really do. Suppose I could reload my, my weapon. And uh, end our turn there. Let them come at us. Heinrichs, you're going to stay put over here? Chaos Marine, what are you going to do? Nothing? Oh, there we go. So he can hit us from there. I don't think we can reach him. Oh, can we? No. Well, we can reach him, but we can't see him. How does... I guess because he's large, he can see us. I don't love that. I don't love that. All right. Um. I guess let's start moving. We got to we gotta close the gap to him. I don't think we have any other enemies. It's just the Chaos Marine. Okay, fair enough. Let's, let's move then, I suppose. Not much else we can do. 
Can I hit him with another extermination mark? No, right? Only one per uh, per target, I would assume. And just to check from this angle, can't hit him. All right, and your turn, Cassia. Let's use uh, move, move, move on Argenta. That'll let Argenta get, you know, closer, so to speak. That's Argenta's turn. Then Cassia can use... Oh, I can't use go, go, go. Damn, really? Okay, fair enough. Uh, fair enough. And Cassia then... I guess move, move to... Move to here with Argenta, just to provide her support as we move forward. And... Uh, end the turn there, I suppose. Argenta, let's get you up to here. And I suppose we'll go ahead and pop, ready, go. You know what I should have done? I should have used shot on the run to get her a bit further up. Abelard, you're up. You can move quite far, but what can you hit from wherever you end up? Nothing, eh? Yeah, nothing. Alright, let's get you up to there. Let's go. Gonna take a touch of damage there. Not too bad. And I suppose we'll pop ready go again. I could charge out, I suppose, just to get into a better position. Doesn't look like it. For some reason, we're blocked here. Okay, fine. We'll just stick with uh, ready go. All right. This is a very, very weird end to a battle. Rogue Trader, let's go ahead and get you down to here. Uh, let's get move, move, move on Pascal. Just to get him to move a bit further with us. Okay, let's pull you down to there, Pascal. Let's go. And the turn there. And Rogue Trader. I mean, again, there's nothing I can really do. So, and the turn there. Heinrichs, you're up. I guess I can get you down to there. Why not? Got to close the gap to this Chaos Marine. Let's end the turn there. Can I charge you down, actually? Looks like... It looks like we'll take damage if we do. And I want to navigate these circles anyway, so let's end the turn there. Oh, are you finally coming up? No, you're going to fire at this nonsense, aren't you? Ooh. That was rough. Pascal is down, so he's not going to be up until the next round. Okay, we're okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Creep you up to here, Cassia. Let's get move, move, move on Argenta. Bring Argenta down to here, but she's on the wrong side. She's not going to be able to hit the uh, hit the Chaos Marine. At all. Cassia? I mean... This is so silly. Argenta going to take some damage as we move over, I suppose. No real option here otherwise. Chore. Just trying to get in a position to hit this guy, right? Whenever we can. That's your turn, Argenta. Uh, you know what? Shot on the run. Move a little bit closer, I guess. Down to there. And then we can use ready go. Let's try it. Avalar, you're up. Okay, now you should be able to get some work done here. If you come down to here, do we switch to your melt to Ultima or do we charge in? Can we charge in from there, actually? I don't know. We have a straight line? No, because the railings and stuff are going to block us. Okay. So if I come down to here, completely exposing us, and I pop the Melt to Ultima on you, it'll do a bit of damage. I guess. Sure, let's go for it. I, I gotta, like, I gotta make some moves here. Good stuff. Got the Righteous Fury 2 for 46 damage. That's no joke. Hot damn. All right, let's pop Endure. Let's try and keep you alive. And I almost wonder if I want to engage in melee, because I could use Onslaught and get into melee here. Let's uh, let's not for the time being. The Rogue Trader is up next, but of course he's well out of position. Can't really do anything. I, I uh, hmm. How do I, can I use get back in the fight or something to get uh, Escal back up? Or you know what I could do? I could use Voice of Command on Avalard. No, no line of sight. Hang on a second. Voice of Command, what's your range? 10 cells. Oh, okay. That's not going to happen. Yeah, yeah, we're nowhere near 10 cells. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, let's just get the Rogue Trader moving up then. Take a touch of damage and the turn there. Sure. Heinrichs, let's pull you up to here, I guess. And let's charge over this way. Let's uh, make our way over. Sure. Going to eat some damage as we cross through these little circles. But we're okay. Assail the Chaos Marine. Oh man, I thought we dropped him. But he succeeded. I, I did think we dropped him there, though. We're okay. I could use Daring Breach. You know what? Yeah, let's pop Daring Breach. That'll allow me to get down to here. And from there, I should 
Uh, I already wasted my charge. That's okay though, it's not the end of the world, because we can switch to our combat shotgun and uh, hit this fool, right? Now let's go for it. Up we go. Heinrichs and Avalard side by side. Getting some decent work done against this Chaos Marine. Good stuff. And I can still toss a crack grenade too if I want to finish him off, but I don't think we have to waste our uh, our grenade there. What's the worst this guy can do? Actually, I have another shot. All right, of course. Because of our daring breach. I'll take it. Was hoping for a Righteous Fury there, but I'll take it. Let's pop Endure. And let's end the turn there. Chaos Marine's going to pull back and open fire. Oh, he's going to toss a grenade. I was not expecting that, but you know what? We're still fine. Pascal is up. You're fine, buddy. Cassia, you're okay. Argenta, you're okay. Avalard. Finish the job here. Good stuff. Look at that. Holy crap. We split him in half. Those are his guts rolling out. Yo, that was great. That was great. <laughs> Heinrichs, check this body out. What do we have here? Recoil gloves and photo visors. Akis cargo. We already have, like, I think two pairs of those, so that's okay. And the blood letters aren't going to offer us any loot, I don't imagine. Right? Nope. So, uh, yeah, let's get the hell out of here. That was a weird battle. That was a that was a weird battle at the end there. Just because it was like just waiting for each other. We were just waiting for each other. Anyway. Back to the uh, system we go, I suppose. That was a weird one. <laughs> uh I I let's let's step into the system. I, I don't think there's anything here that I want necessarily. If we take a look at our journal, there's still we're still waiting for a response from Dargonus, fair enough, so back to warp travel. And uh, let's pick uh, let's pick a different point to go to. Um, thinking... I'm thinking what? I'm thinking... Let's go to... Odenathus? Sure, warp travel? Ooh, hello. Lord Captain, our astropaths received a message from Achilles Scalander on Dargonus. He closely studied the data from the incursion on Viabo 6, including the mention of the Xenos leaders. He promised to direct the efforts of his aides to identify those enemies of humanity so their location can be determined. All right, so there's some progress now. Master Scalander is also reporting the Drukari are getting ready for more attacks on your territory. Information from his aides continues to arrive, and Achilles will personally report to you the moment the target for the upcoming raid becomes clear. The Drukari excel at catching their opponents off guard, and there will be little time to mount a response. According to, to Master Scalander, your personal participation in the defense would be the best strategy, given the circumstances. Very well, I'll take his opinion into consideration, but, uh... Alright, okay, interesting. So... Let's go ahead and, and, and visit this system, but I, I want to see my journal entry as well, because I want to understand exactly what the situation is, but what's this now? Oh, oh crap! What have we walked into here? Lord Captain, Rukari ships are patrolling the system. The likelihood of slipping past their patrols unnoticed is close to zero. This, uh, oh, oh my goodness. What is going on here? All right, let's take a look at our journal really quickly. Stop the Xenos raids on your holding. So this has changed. Achilles Scalander has directed his spy network to discover the Xenos future plans and hunt down the leaders who were detected on Viabo 6. Before any new information is found, attacks on the colonies and trading vessels must be stopped to avoid any further damage to the Von Valencia's trade empire. Alright, not sure exactly how that's going to translate, if it's going to tell us we have to go here, we have to go there, we have to so on and so forth, or if we've just stumbled onto the situation here. Uh, let's go ahead and start with this Drukari patrol. It seems like the easiest to handle. Then we'll check out this Ash World. And we'll do, it's like one, two, three, four, I think is the order to go in, just based on the visuals on the map itself. All right, that's going to be interesting. A couple of space battles to, to tide us over. You fail to get past the enemy ships unnoticed. The nearest Drukari ship attacks at once. Get ready. Others will soon join in. Oh. So at first I was going to very cockily say, well, my plan wasn't to slip past unnoticed. I was going to engage this patrol anyway. Uh, but the fact that others will soon join in, well, that makes me a little nervous. But the ship's crew is up to the challenge. Does that mean they'll actually come in as reinforcements in this battle, or is that just flavor text? We'll find out. Looks like there are two enemy ships here. We got a Drukari Dark Mirror firing away at us. Couple of misses, couple of hits. Don't like that. And we have more HP now. So we have upgraded the, the 
flagship has leveled up. Excellent. Maybe we go back and deal with the uh, Eldari as well in that one, uh, one space battle. Because yes, your ship can level up, by the way. It, it is its own entity. It does have, you know, RP aspects, so to speak, of its own. So it, it can level up. What is this? Rapid reload. After the macro cannon weapons shot, if the starship moves at least six movement points, the macro cannons will be reloaded. Ooh, well, that's interesting. Okay. Now, this guy didn't shoot, so we can't actually see him. This guy is behind us, so we can't actually hit him. Well, this isn't really working out for us. Um, I was asked, by the way, if the torpedo can detonate next to uh, the Drukari when they're in their shadow field to cause damage. I'm actually not sure. I assume no, but I'm not sure. So why don't we go ahead and launch our torpedo over here in the hopes that this guy's going to continue that way and, and the torpedo can hit him. I don't think my lance can hit, even though it made the, the voice line to imply it can. Um, why don't I roll up this way to try and hit you? This gives us plus two extra range. That's not going to be enough. But if we, if we roll up this way, then at least we can uh, try and work against this guy, right? Not much else we can do while the torpedo comes down against this guy. Who knows? Who knows if that was the right call? Not me, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and move up to there. And maybe we just boost our, our shields a little bit. That might be the best call. Go ahead and reinforce shields on our port side. Maybe I should have done the aft shields instead. But hey, you live and you learn. And let's see what this does for us. I'm going to pull a uh, new heading as well. Just so we can turn a bit better next turn if need be. And I'm going to call the turn there. You're going to keep moving forward. Yeah. Probably going to loop around to try and hit us. And that's fine by me because we'll have we'll have line of sight on him. Actually, we might be able to hit him with our lance. What are you going to do? You're probably going to reveal yourself because you're going to come behind me and open fire, I assume. And my torpedo is not going to be able to reach you, unfortunately. Decent bit of damage there. Didn't didn't move our shields completely. Now this torpedo, here's what we're going to do. We're going to bring you down to here. And uh, then we'll use Argenta's torpedo control to try and finish the job. So let's bring the torpedo over here. Let's end our turn for the torpedo. Let's get... What? Let's get... Torpedo control. Ah. We'll get up to there. Is that close enough to detonate? No, it's not, eh? Just... Just short. Just short. That's my luck. If you're up to there... No, we're gonna more likely to hurt ourselves. Alright, well, we tried our best. Let's pull you up to there. Let's go. And let's go ahead and do what? End your turn, I suppose. Yeah, can't hit you. Alright, fine. Let's set. end your turn. And do I want to lance this guy, or do I want to hit him with a battery? 34 damage versus 4 times 14, which is a lot more. That is 56 damage. All right, let's start with a port battery on this side. Fire away. That's my concern, is just because we might potentially do 56 damage... It doesn't mean we're going to hit with every shot, right? So we barely did enough damage there. Let's go ahead with a lance over here instead, I think. That's a good opportunity to experiment. I'm going to go ahead and actually scan for weaknesses to uh, break the experiment. Looks like that's not going to apply, though. But yes, lance weapon, fire away. Good hit. The lance weapon technically did more damage than our, uh, than our battery, so there's that. Uh, and let's go ahead and, and do what? Let's go ahead and... Loop around this way, I suppose. Sure. I think we're doing okay for the time being. We're not very badly hurt. Shields are looking okay. In fact, I could go ahead and boost our aft shields. Just to prevent any potential trouble. And uh, end our turn there. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, wow. Reinforcements are, in fact, going to come through. We gotta work quickly here. Okay. Now, that's a small little ship. But well, there's two of them. Okay. Not loving it. Not loving it. Well, I mean, I am loving it. This is great. I'm glad it's like this. But this could be this could be trouble. <laughs> How much worse is this going to get for us? Buddy over here is going to move down. Now, are my torpedoes going to die at the top of the next turn? Or if I don't hit anything next turn? I can't recall now. Because it's been so long since I've been in this position. But we'll find out soon enough. What are you going to do? You're going to fire away for sure, right? 
Oh, or not. Okay. Let's go ahead and use our torpedo to potentially eliminate this uh, Drukhari ship here. We can't hit anything else, so we might as well do this. The other option is to use Argenta to maybe hit this guy, but I'm not going to operate on maybes. Let's go ahead and roll up to here. Hit this guy. Do a decent bit of damage there. Yep. Basically finish him off. We can use our dorsal uh, battery to hit up over here. Hopefully get the job done. Beautiful. And now I can go ahead and hit you with battery number one. Go for it. Come on. Not too bad. Not amazing. Not too bad either. How much health you got left? 65. All right. And this guy over here. Not close enough. Come up this way. Pop shots. Right in his face. And then what? Then what? Can't lance you or anything. All right. I guess this is what we'll do. The other option is to, yeah, come up to here and lance this guy instead. Yeah, you know what? Let's go with the lance. Let's go with the lance. Did better last time. Hopefully it'll do better this time. Yeah, you know what? Not going to complain about that. Good hit. Uh, let's keep moving past him. Sure. And I guess we'll end the turn there. Don't want to turn this guy around. Let's use new heading, I suppose. And uh, let's go ahead and bolster our starboard shields just because they're kind of damaged. I don't think we're going to get damage coming in from there, but keep him alive, I guess. I see there's got a there's a round limit, nine rounds left. So we'll see how that works out in terms of enemy reinforcements arriving versus us holding the line here. Doing okay so far, though, I think. Doing okay so far. But that could change in an instant, right? If more reinforcements arrive, especially, we'll be in a bit of trouble. I'm glad this guy wasn't able to shoot at us this turn. Kind of a strange decision to move in such a way, but it is what it is. He's going to hit us, though, yeah. Uh, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> We're almost at 50% HP right about now. So, uh... That's kind of rough. Um, from over here, can we... We can't reach that guy. There's no way we can reach that guy. Even with our lance, we can't reach that guy. From over here, we can hit you. And we can hit you. Okay, cool. I'm thinking. I'm thinking we pop a shot down over here. Roll up. Pop a shot over here. Go ahead. Pretty good. Go ahead and pop a shot up over here as well. Uh, yeah, go for it. Come on. Decent damage it looked like. Hopefully that's an accurate assessment. Let's go ahead and pop a torpedo out over here. 47. That actually wasn't that great, actually. Uh, torpedo's out. Hopefully it'll get some work done onto these guys as they come through. And I'm just wondering if I want to, like... Pull down to here or something to harass this guy, you know? Bother this guy, stay away from these guys, and then loop around, maybe hit them with my, uh, uh, with my, my swing run and, uh, and my lance. Can I actually lance this guy? No way. Just too tight. Just a little too tight. Over here? Still no. Wait, actually? No, it looks like it, but not. I don't know why I keep getting tempted by that. I know it's not gonna work. Yeah, all right, we're fine, we're fine. Go ahead and creep down to here. Let's go. End the turn there. Sure. Oh, is that more reinforcements arriving? Because it looks like more reinforcements arriving. I might need to reset my shields. Yeah, that's more reinforcements. Smaller ships still, but... It's a numbers game, right? It's a numbers game. Might need to start playing keep away. Because that's going to hurt. They're just chipping away at us. Just chipping away at us. Now the torpedo should be able to hit somebody. So that's good at least. But yeah, I'm not liking the damage we're taking there. Can my torpedo hit this guy though? That's I would like that the most. And if he stopped, nah, damn it. I was really hoping he'd stop close enough for uh like an AoE effect. Oh, we're in trouble. <laughs> We're in a lot of trouble, actually. I, I I way underestimated the enemy here. Yeah, we're screwed. This is going to kill us. Oh, wow. They actually didn't. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I guess I could hit these guys with a torpedo. So let's go for it. Come on now. 
Good stuff. They actually survived. Less good stuff. How much health you got left? Don't even see a health bar. I could fire. Where's where's their survivor? This guy up there. Well, this is the dark mirror. It has it has three HP left. Are you for real right now? Okay, I'm gonna use warp wave on this guy. That barely helped. And I'm going to go ahead and flip around like this, in the hopes of not exposing this side. I, you know what? I I way underestimated the enemy. Extremely. Before I move, let's use our dorsal to hit this guy. And our port. You know what, actually, let's use our dorsal and our port to hit this guy. Because they don't have uh, shadow fields or anything. Fire away. Port. Fire away. Hope for a righteous fury, maybe. Come on, please. Damn it. Lance can't hit this guy. Can't even turn to face him to hit him. If I... One, two, three, four, five, six. If I come up to here, I should be able to hit this guy. And this guy. Okay, let's do this. Let's go ahead and move up to there and use this. Should be able to do that. No weapons fired recently. What are you talking about? I just... What are you talking about? Okay, let's try it this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, I guess. Or what if one, two, three, four, five, six... That guy might be too far away. Let's try it. Uh, this might be a mistake. Because I'm exposing my unshielded side now. But I am able. That's yeah, just too far away. Let's go ahead and use Arc Augury. Use our dorsal to hit that guy. Come on. Good stuff. Use our port battery to hit this guy. Yeah, alright, I'll take it. And let's go ahead and turn around this way and just kind of pray, really, I guess. So close to being able to hit him with our starboard as well. Is there anything I can do to help with that? I don't think so. God damn. Just trying to figure this out right now. If I have any other options. I guess not. Let's go ahead and use this for our uh, aft shields. And let's learn to be less cocky moving forward, I guess, huh? Alright, end the turn there. We're so screwed. So he's going the wrong way. He's going to be able to loop back around. The other two will finish us off, I'm pretty sure. The other two will finish us off. Don't bother, don't bother, buddy. You don't, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do this. No, don't. Okay. An interesting choice. He's going to finish us off, though. Okay. An interesting choice. <laughs> He's going to finish us off, though. Here we go. Yeah, there it is. Damn. Damn. Okay. Good fight. You know, I like it. Things are escalating. I like it a lot. This one we can take on, though. This isn't like the Eldari fight. This one we can take on. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's just I got... I was a little uh, overconfident there. Oh. What? Our last save pulls us back to here? I guess just after we defeated the Traitor Marine. Very well. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and make another jump to uh, Odenathus 11. There's our message from uh, Achilles Scalander. Fair enough. Hopefully we'll arrive here without incident. Okay, great. Uh, let's not visit it yet. Just want to cancel that so I can get the scan in. Doesn't really change much. Just want to get the scan in, really. And and, and then we can go ahead and visit the system and uh, take on the Drukari. Okay, cool. Uh, you know what? I like it. As we go further and further along, things have been becoming a bit more challenging. Uh, again, I'm confident we'll win this battle. Uh, and 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 I just need to I need to stop being so cocky. Just success after success after success in the early parts of this uh of this alpha playthrough have uh have given me this sense of confidence which is now slowly being chipped away at which i absolutely love to be clear this is not a complaint i'm enjoying it 
I'm looking forward to dealing a killing blow to each and every one of these patrols next time. Folks, this is where we're calling it a session. Yes, it's a little early, but if I dive into a battle right now, it'll last 20, 30 minutes. But hopefully next session, we'll be able to finish all four of these guys off. Now that I kind of know what to expect with at least a couple of them, I, I, I think we'll move a lot more quickly. But I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. And I'm really curious to hear what... Uh, but our good friend Achilles tells us about the uh, the leadership of the Drukari uh, offensives on our planets. Folks, again, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a very big difference in letting me know what people are enjoying on the channel, letting me know what I should do more or less of, and how I should go about doing it. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.